It's easy to become focused solely on the demonic structure in Hell in a Cell, but there are other considerations to think about too, Corey. You're right, Michael. If it's not nailed down, it can be used as a weapon here. The stairs, every corner of the cell, anything. So whoever can utilize weapons more effectively is going to have a big advantage. I'm not to mention all the times we've seen superstars launch themselves from the top of the cell 20 feet in the air. And we know from history only bad, bad things happen on top of Hell in a Cell. Face Buster. He's got him covered. He manages to make it barely a one count. The ref barely started the count. Oh, he retaliates. Is there a special secret to winning a Hell in a Cell match? You have to be willing to leave your humanity behind. Become the most vicious possible version of yourself because that's what it takes to win inside Hell in a Cell. to the chain link enclosure. WWE Universe wants tables. Well, they've got tables. Line. Now he's been put on the defensive. No one is fully prepared for Hell in a Cell. He better brace for more. Flurry's proven to be quite the challenge for him here. Able to reverse. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. Oh, what a four. Ripcord. Evading offense. Uh-oh. Vicious right for Ooh, wallet by a huge clock. Big splash. He may be in a bad way here. And this is where Hell in a Cell earns its name, people. The damage is just piling up as we head into deep waters. And he's showcasing some dominance here. You have to give credit for the steady fight he's getting. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Boom at the button. Is second to none at times like this. 
And we see him take yet another shot to the body. performance here from tonight's winner. No doubt about it, support for this guy grows by the second in the estimation of the WWE Universe.